everybody, Dr. Michael Shearer here with LearnDentistry.com. I'm coming to you today because I wanted to come across with some of my initial first thoughts about the new and exciting Medit i700 intraoral scanner. I'll tell you, I'm pretty darn excited about this scanner because there's a lot of really cool things about the Medit i500 that the entire Medit team has been really innovating with for the past couple years. Now that the i500 has been in the market for some time, Team Med has gotten a lot of feedback from the clinicians and from many people out there about what to improve about the scanner to make it even better. And I thought they really brought it here, especially in this kind of you know questionable IDS world. Are we going? Are we not? Medit team just decided to say, boom, and let's drop the i700, even though the IDS show in Germany is not happening this month. But what they brought to the table was something pretty darn cool. They brought an incredibly different scanner, but yet it is very similar on the surface of the Medit i500. So let's go ahead and break it down. Number one, it's lighter, significantly lighter compared to the original Medit i500, close to almost 50 grams lighter. So the Medit i500 is about 280 grams, the Medit i700 is about 230 grams. In addition, it's much faster. According to Team Medit, it's minimum 40 frames per second, where the scanning frame for the i500 is minimum 30 frames per second. So already quite a bit faster. But what they're saying is, this is that it can be even faster. You know how innovative Medit is with their software and bringing out innovative new updates to the i500 to make it better. But what they're saying is, this is they, they can get 70, possibly upwards of a beyond 100 frames per second, which means faster scanning. In addition, it has an innovative UVC bulb on the inside of the scanner itself. So between the lightness of it, the speed of it, and the UVC bulb, they thought, wow, number one, we need to get it into hands of people with smaller hands. A lot like my other half, Dr. Melissa Chotel. She's got much smaller hands than I do. But grabbing the i700 is a much more comfortable experience, especially for people that are used to maybe a heavier scanner on the market, something uh, that might be much heavier or a little bit bulkier. The i500 has always been a little bit of a bulkier scanner, similar to some other scanners on the market, but they really came up with something awesome with having a lighter and smaller scanner as well. In addition, in this COVID world, having a UVC tip seems like sort of a novelty here at this point. However, it's going to be pretty darn cool, especially when patients are like, wow, I mean, you're cleaning the thing and it's using light to clean the, the scanner itself. Wow, that's pretty darn cool. We're all used to kind of knowing about UVC uh, and UVC sort of disinfecting now in this post COVID world. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now there's some other things that may not sound like that's that big of a deal, but for some clinicians out there, especially many of my students who have taken my courses, have large multi-operatory practices. Six operatories, eight, 10, 12, 20 operatories, a large group setting. One thing that Medit did is, not a lot of clinicians see it this way, but I instantly thought when I saw an unpluggable USB-C tip so imagine this, I literally have multiple versions of these plugs plugged into all sorts of different computers in each one of my operatories. I literally just carry this in between my operatories, plug it in, and I'm scanning right away. Additionally, for larger DSO group practices, universities, teaching institutions, kind of uh, community health center clinics, that could become a very important factor for some clinicians when deciding between intraoral scannings, just being able to have that tip. And what's pretty cool about it too though is, this is that the i700 allows you to go ahead and directly plug the other end of this cable into a powered USB-C port. So it doesn't necessarily need that large kind of powered brick that we're used to with the i500. Now it does come in the box and ship with the i700 itself. So if you don't have a USB-C powered port, or if you're unsure, just stick with the standard rectangular USB-A port. 3.0 USB-A will never go wrong. However, it's something that is definitely pretty darn cool. The thought of not necessarily having that little inner box powered unit with all the cables, a second that I thought that I said, wow, can I plug this directly into the USB-C cable? And the answer is absolutely. And then on top of that, one thing that maybe not so many i500 users are super excited about, but for other users of other scanners on the market, like me in my practice, I have several other scanners in my practice that allow you to go ahead and easily scan the maxilla, 
by flipping and turning around the tip. Especially for i500 users, this might be a little bit weird because you're used to just turning the scanner wand over. However, I find that a really, really important feature, especially for me, because I'm just so used to holding with my hand and then scanning the maxilla, easily just flipping the tip over and then popping it over and then just same finger grip. So that way it doesn't necessarily require me to have additional muscle memory. So that way when I'm using the buttons, it's just a natural feeling. And then finally, they also have this kind of remote control function. Heck, I just called it a joystick because it kind of looks like one of those Nintendo 64 things, you know, where you're just kind of like, all right, Mario, here we go. So what happens is, is, is that it allows you to go ahead and be as touch-free or touch-less operation. So when I scan, I can then move the scan around, zoom, uh, pan, tilt, do all those pretty cool things. In addition, a long hold button on the check button will allow you to advance to the next phase of the scanning. So if you start with the upper long hold on the blue button, you can then select it to go to the mandible and then the first byte and then the second byte. So I thought that was pretty darn cool. So just like the i500, it's got a lot of those features that we're used to with the Medit scanner, such as the anti-fogging tip, the 3D in motion video technology. It works very, very similar. However, between that, it has an additional five degree access of angulation of the tip itself. So the i500 has a 40 degree angle tip and the i700 has a 45 degree tip. In addition, what they've done is they basically rebuilt the hardware on this scanner because number one, it's smaller, lighter, all of those things that I've talked about already. But additionally, the tip is made out of some pretty strong stuff. So the original i500 tip Medit says you can autoclave up to 50 times. I don't know about you all, but it kind of starts to go bad right around that 40 mark. So, you know, that's what they say, absolutely. But what happens is, this is that they're now saying that the new tips can go double that. So approximately 100 autoclave cycles. Wow, that's pretty darn cool. Especially since some of these, some, these tips can be kind of expensive, especially compared to, you know, if you look at other intraoral scanners that have very expensive tips. The Medit team really thought about that one pretty darn cool. So between all of those really interesting features, the Medit i700 compared to the Medit i500, you can really see what a difference between the two. You know, just from a distance, you might not necessarily see it right away just because they look very similar, but you'll instantly feel the weight difference once you kind of pick them both up and you'll instantly feel the hand difference in the terms of the size and everything of that nature. On top of that, you know, when you really think about it, it's hard to say because Medit says the cable lengths are about the same, but to tell you the truth, I don't know if it's just me or maybe we'll have to go ahead and really measure this thing, but it feels like the i700's got a little bit of a longer cable length, maybe like an additional couple of inches, something like that. So I leave it to you out there, especially my viewers, to let me know uh, if that is the case. So as we can see here, the Medit i700 is a really, really interesting addition to the inner oral scanning marketplace, especially for the users out there that are thinking to themselves, I love my i500, should I get the i700? The answer is maybe. It really depends. There's a lot of new software updates that they've also launched with the i700 release, but many of those are also available to the i500 users. I don't anticipate Medit to go ahead and say, uh, yeah, you know, let's get rid of our support for i500. Absolutely not. I don't see that happening really forever, maybe a long, long time. But say to yourself, ah, oh, man, I'm the type of person that I just like the latest edition of my cell phone, maybe the latest Android or the latest iPhone you're absolutely gonna want the new i700 because it's just darn cool. So I look forward to going ahead and showing you some of these videos. Let's just go ahead and jump right into showing you some of the clinical demonstration videos. But make sure you check out some of our online training courses at www.learndentistry.com where we have videos already demonstrating the Medit i700 in place.